signed to that record label now, Kyle. Oh, man, it feels good. It's a dream come true. Yes, indeed. We just heard a fantastic performance of Treat Her Like a Lady. Tell us a little bit about the recording of that song, uh, Kyle. Man, it was a uh, very full circle. You know, I grew up most of my life listening to The Temptations, was influenced in every way by them. Uh, Otis Williams is, a, is my mentor as well as my godfather, who was formerly of the group, um, Bruce Williamson. And so getting to go into the studio and record one of my favorite Temptation songs with The Temptations themselves is... is bananas <laughs> well you certainly sound do, uh, good on the song uh, you must have uh, studied the group uh, pretty much oh i studied ever since i was a little kid you know i first um got wind of the temptations history back when i was in fifth grade you know i have i've been studying them ever since every every move every lyric everything so. All right, we're going to see. let you do some dance a little later on. Huh? Okay, uh, introduce uh, your band, uh, your music director. This is my musical director, Mr. Dante Covert. He's uh, been a good friend of mine ever since we were both in high school. And uh, yeah, so I'm very big on keeping stuff in the family. Um, uh, and so when it came time for me to, to have this opportunity and, and go out on the road uh, prospectively, there's um, no better choice that I could think of than Dante over here. I trust him. He's a good guy. He's very talented. And he knows his stuff. So, what more could you ask for? Well, you guys got some shows coming up soon, right? Uh, we have some stuff coming up next year. Um, there, we're supposed to be uh, uh, touring with the Temptations, so as as the opening act, and we got some warm up stuff before the end of the winter. So we're gonna. Those dates are TBD, but. Uh, that's gotta be so you'll be up there stepping on stage with them too Kyle. Uh well we just did uh, actually just recently I did a uh, a performance in Ocean City with the Temptations to ensure like Lady Live. Mm -hmm. And uh we're gonna have uh, we're gonna do that again uh sometime in the near future. Mm -hmm. so. Why this music, Kyle? Now you're a young person, you know, your early twenties, um a lot of this music was uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years before you were even born. Uh, how do you gravitate toward this music? Well, I think it has a lot to do with uh, me being... Um, well, my parents would work almost every day when I was a child, and I spent a lot of time being uh, babysat by my grandmother. And she introduced me to a lot of more old-school music. And I remember the sound of the drifters, especially on that song, White Christmas, was, was something that really resonated with me. And so... Progressing from there, just the old school R&B, the groups with their harmonies and the choreography and just the overall class and the way music used to be written with such artistry and melodies and, you know, wasn't the same four chords every, you know, the entire song, you know, but uh, just there's something that, that resonates with me with classic music and I take a lot of inspiration from that and from the artists of that day. 
Now talk about writing songs, um, Kyle. Have you, do, do you do any songwriting on the album? Yeah, well, this uh, on this first EP, the first three tracks are going to be uh, uh, Temptation songs. It's kind of like, a, like I said before, a a, a, a collective like love story for how much the group has meant to me and influenced me through the years. But the last track on the EP uh, is uh, a song called Here I Am. Uh, a song actually I've been sitting on for five years and then uh, I showed it to Otis Williams and he loved it. He helped me tweak it a little bit so so now we're co-writers on the song. Um, and uh, it's a it's kind of like a, 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 a self-declaring title. Here I am! You know, so we're gonna we're going to transition, that's the transition point to uh, original music from this point out. Mm -hmm. Now, who are some of the other artists that influenced you uh, to want to sing, Kyle? Um, I love Maxwell. I love Maxwell, I love his range and his and his talent and the whole, what he had done for Neo Soul was just amazing. I love Anthony Hamilton. Um, um, a majority of the artists I listen to is, you know, probably Motown artists, the Four Tiles, Marvin Gaye, Smokey Robinson, all those people. Um, but the the R and B artists of today, like the the really the really talented ones, like you know Eric Benet and and Jill Scott and folks like that, they're doing they're doing uh, wonderful things with R and B music now. I just want to make sure that that gets heard. Now you, you like you mentioned some of the current artists. You also mentioned some of the artists from back in the day. Why is it important to keep that original sound, that classic traditional sound? of R&B alive. Why is it important? Because it's the derivative of everything. You know, we as R&B artists today would not be much if it wasn't for what these people that came before us, you know, if it wasn't for what they had done and and the way they paved the way. So, okay. Well, I wish you much success with your new album, the EP you. and your tour. The album is out now, so if folks are interested in learning more about Kyle Mac, how can they find out more about you and your music? Well, you can go to my Facebook page, Kyle Mac, and remember Mac is spelled M-A-A-C-K, it's two A's. And um, I'm on social media um, with uh, Instagram and Twitter, we're just building all this stuff. I came to the game a little late on social media, but we're making it work. Um, our website will be KyleMacOfficial.com when that comes up. and. Uh, also, you can find out information on the Temptations official page, uh, the, the uh, temptationsofficial.com. There'll be information about me on there too. And so, um, the EP will be released on everything. You go on iTunes, Spotify, Apple Music, everything. You can find it. So. All right, we thank you, Kyle Mack, and your music director Dante. Thank you so much for being part of the show here today. We appreciate you coming by R&B Showcase Live, and um, we look forward to hearing more of your music and seeing you out on the road. Yes, sir. And let's all continue to support. Live music. This is Tim Marshall for RB Showcase Live. I have something to talk about today that I believe is extremely important and beneficial. Legacy. 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 Why are we here and how do we want to be remembered after we leave this earth? I know we have a lot going on in our lives, our own personal baggage from our childhood, you know, bills, uh, student loans, you know, issues that are going on in our lives. But how do we want to be remembered? What impact on this earth do we want to leave once we pass away? Where are you headed? Who are you pouring into? Who, what are you reaping and sowing so that when you leave, your stamp and your impact on this earth will be left here? People will remember you. My favorite book says that a good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. You know, and a legacy isn't always money. Think Martin Luther King, think Vince Lombardi, think all the greats that have come before us that their names continue to live on long after they have passed and left from this earth. We aren't born just to exist. We are born with a designated purpose over our lives. So if you're someone who just sees themselves or views themselves as a regular person, not capable of building a legacy, just remember all those greats who have come before us were just regular people as well. However, the difference is they believed enough in themselves and knew that their purpose was attached to the benefit of other people. So I encourage you, work towards your legacy and your purpose. And don't worry about the size because it all matters. Legacy! Tim Arch for R&B Showcase Live, our special guest. He's an educator, he's a youth motivator, and he's a mentor. And we're all about keeping that home, school, and community connection together. 
It's all about education. Let's welcome our special guest, Mr. Jordan Cagle. Jordan, how you doing, man? I'm great, sir. How you doing today? It's very good to see you today. Good to see you too, sir. I hear so much about this great program that you're doing. As a matter of fact, you've got some uh, videos up there on the online yes, sir. that are uh, motivational yes, to sir. our youth and to youth in the community and inspirational. Tell us about the program that you're doing now with, uh, with the video program that you have for our youth. Awesome. So, uh, about three years ago, I started something called Thriving Thursdays. It's basically just a homework club where kids can come on Thursdays and now actually Tuesdays from about 3 o'clock to 5.30. With, they get homework assistance, they get a snack, and pretty much mentoring. You know, it was something that uh, I had been wanting to do. I was a little nervous about starting it because it was something new, some uncharted waters for me. But my mother, she encouraged me to do it and get started, and I took that first step, and it's been running ever since. Jordan, where do you get your inspiration from? I mean, many have that gift to gab. I mean, some um, can talk the talk, but the idea is to get out there to be able to have uh, positive words that are going to be able to reach, teach, and inspire our youth. Yes, sir. Where does your inspiration come from? So I would say my inspiration comes from, first of all, being confident in who I am. And that has a lot to do with my upbringing, with my mother, uh, and our, our strong Christian church background. I got a lot of my identity through the church. Um, and you know that's allowed me to really just know who I am in in my faith and then doing a lot of educational stuff like reading on my own time actually going to college you know playing sports a, number, a combination of different experiences over life and just being able to relate to people I've always saw, seen my mother and my grandmother uh, relate to people that's one skill that they had they loved people they would help people no matter what even when it seemed like we didn't have much or they didn't have much they would still give their last, they will let people come stay if they needed a place to stay. And um, just having that heart and that want to want to help people is what, what gives me that inspiration and that uh, ability to talk and relate and be real. Keeping it real is all Keeping about it real. real, yes sir. Well, keeping it real, talk about today's society. It's a you know, different world we grew up in today. It's not yeah. like back in the day, I mean, when some of us grew up, uh, <laughs> when, um, you know, we would uh, go out, we come up, come uh, home from school, Yeah. Hit the books right away. We uh -huh. had to do our homework first. When right. our homework is done, then we could go outside and play. Not yeah. forgetting we had chores in between all that. Right. You go outside and play, you kick ball, football, kick the can, all out in the uh -huh. street, baseball, you know, whatever it is that you did. Yeah. We did things outside. I mean, wasn't this inside and texting and online, all this, you know, technical things that we have today and all the social networking and all that. We didn't have those things back right. then. You know, we went out, we played outside, when the street lights came on you knew you better be home because you right. did not want your mother to be out there yelling in the street because uh, that'd be embarrassing that'd be you know, embarrassing get on yes, home. Sir. yes sir so anyway it's a different world we live in you know yep. then they would, we would come home we would sit down eat dinner you know you have yep. your mother you have your father brothers and sisters all around the uh -huh. dinner table mm -hmm. or whether it was just the mother just the father or both parents yes. whatever it may have been and we sit there, we talk about, you know, son, what did you learn in school today? Right. What did you do right. today? We may not have that today. I mean, That's we have single parent homes. We had that back then, but maybe, you know, the parents are off working, they're out of state. Yes, um, the travel time, all those things, they don't get to be with their child. Their child is uh, in school all day and then they're left off, you know, by themselves. Right. Many, um, there's not always a lot of programs for our youth. We right. need more programs. Absolutely, I them. agree. So I applaud you with the program that you have. Thank you, sir. The school program that you're doing with the youth. Yes. Now, what age group are you are you working with? I write, well, as far as the after school program, I, I work with kindergarten all the way up through seniors. You know, it looks different. You know, seniors and, and high school kids is more, um, dealing with college applications and uh, trying to set them up post high school because at that mm -hmm. point, high school goes really fast. Mm -hmm. And then uh, kindergarten through about eighth grade, we're doing a lot of academic work, mm -hmm. a lot of mentoring, and a lot of the behavior stuff I deal with too because like you said, the single parent home, mm -hmm. the parents aren't as involved as they could be in the community I live in. I can't speak for everywhere else. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of those distractions like the cell phones and um, the computer and, and, and going outside and before they do the homework are a big issue and the behavior uh, of the parents not really uh, enforcing certain rules on their kids mm -hmm. is an issue. So I deal a lot with the behavior stuff yeah. and really just the academic because a lot of the kids are behind mm -hmm. academically. Well, you talk about high school students now. You know, you have high school students that are trying to find their way in the world. Yes, sir. They're trying to find, you know, their own identity. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they're faced with the challenges that are out yeah. there, as we mentioned, in the community, the different world we live in today. 
What advice do you give to a high school student that wants to either go to service or go to school or they really don't know what they want to do, some of them? What are they going to do? You know, you're getting 10th, 11th grade, but yes. I mean, the senior yes, year, right. You're right. it's almost too late. You're you know? right. It's too late to start applying for things. you got to do you're it right. early. What kind of advice would you give to that child? So I have a younger sister who just graduated high school and mm -hmm. I have another sister who is uh, at BCC or RCBC now. And I will always tell them, you don't want to be like a leaf in the wind. You know, a leaf in the wind is just blowing in any direction the wind takes it. You want to set a goal, um, whether it's go to college, whether it's, you know, you want to maybe be a cosmetologist, whether you want to be an electrician, some sort of goal. Have that goal in sight and stick to it. Block out all distractions. Don't fall for the illusion of the partying and get caught up with girls and what you have on your feet or what you're wearing on your back. Don't get caught up in that stuff. That stuff's not going to matter 10 years from now. So stay focused on what you set out to do and go achieve it because there's going to be distractions. People are going to try to knock you off your square, but you have to be confident enough in your abilities and the goal and see the big picture and get to it. That's the advice I would give them. How about the parents? What advice would you give to the parents? So, absolutely. So like you mentioned earlier, we, parents sat down, they talked with their kids at dinner time, they catered to their kids as far as homework help, they were more involved. We need to return back to some of those old school ways. I don't think they're very old school. I think that we've forgotten our roots mm -hmm. and we've forgotten what uh, we did to get us to where we got have got have come and I think we need to return back to that We need to have more sit downs at dinner put the cell phones away even for myself put the phone away Let's have a conversation. Let's talk eye to eye and let's talk so I can look into your eyes and tell me if you're lying or not about mm. some things. Uh, <laughs> you know, we need to sit at the dinner table, cut the TV off mm. and you know We need to get real with each other mm. and connect mm -hmm. from person to person mm. And we need to um, find out what's going on in the kids' lives. You know, there's too much going on through these text messages and Snapchat, and most parents don't even know what's going on, what their kids are involved in. So let's have a conversation and get involved with our kids, and let's just bring the community back to a home and, and the community. Mm -hmm. Now, we talked about people, that, you know, you inspiring other people, and, yeah. and uh, what inspires you. Are there any uh, motivators or youth mentors out there that may have inspired you to do what you do, that you, you model yourself after? Yeah, you know, there's, there's a, there, are, there are a lot of I listen to a lot of different speakers, um, and you guys can probably check them out, the ones I'm going to mention. I listen to a guy named Eric Thomas, who's a, they call him the hip-hop preacher. Okay. He's a very, uh, very inspirational, very educated. He was homeless, he come from the gutter, and he was able to rise to the top, and he speaks all over the world now. Mm -hmm. I listen to a guy named Zig Ziglar, mm -hmm. I listen to a guy named Jim oh, Rohn, mm -hmm. Les Brown, oh, yeah, well, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a mentor does not have to be um, a person you physically see every day. A mentor could be through a book, it could be through an audio, it could be through YouTube. You know, we can, the internet's really great, um, but as long as you control what you're mod watching on the internet. So you can watch really educational stuff on the internet. Like I go on YouTube, I look up these guys, and I use them, they mentor me. I get a lot of my stuff from them, um, and they're helping me get to where I'm going to go. Mm -hmm. So that's why, you know, that's some people I would suggest they um, talk, look up or watch or, you know. You are good enough. The online video program that you have, uh, Words of inspiration yeah. uh, for you. Yeah. If someone wants to find you online, where would they go to look? So currently, my website is being built, but for now, you can go on Facebook.com mm -hmm. and just type my name in, Jordan Cagle. Uh, Cagle is C A G as in Gary, L E as in Eagle, and uh, you can just find me there. Uh, request me as a friend, and all my videos are on Facebook. Well, I applaud you for what you're doing, and I wish you much success with the program that you're doing uh, within the school systems. Now, you're working this in this particular area. Um, I wish you much success with what you're doing. Thank you, sir. And uh, keep on doing what you're doing, because you're doing it well. Yes, sir. Our I kids need that. good mentors, yes, good sir. role models. There's definitely not enough out there. Absolutely. So I'm just letting you know that we appreciate what it is that you do. And I want to say thank you to you as well for inviting me here. Uh, it's, a, it's been a wonderful experience. I, I would love to come back and talk about something else if you would like me to. And I want to say thank you for, for being, a, you know, someone who's lived before me and as an older person who is still paving the way for people. And uh, you're setting an example for many people like myself and other, other youth. Well, I appreciate that. Thank no you. And thanks for being part of the show. Yes, sir. Tim Marshall, R&B Showcase Live, special guest, educator, youth motivator, and mentor, Mr. Jordan Kegel. We've got new music coming up today from Dot Destin featuring Dewan Whaley and it's called God Got Me on the R&B Showcase. And we're back.
Yo, yo, yo. Check it, check it, uh, look, I ain't worried about nobody, cause God got me, yeah, stress free, I'm stress free, cause God got me, I can overcome anything, cause God got me, yeah, cause God got me, yeah, cause God got me, yeah, bless up, bless up, bless up, yeah, for the kid who's next up, haters trying to stress us, it never gets to us, we work better under pressure, about to run a check up, yeah, cause God got me, yeah, cause God got me, yeah, Cause God got me, yeah Salvagers, I done bought it to another level, yeah Steady counting blessings out here Stumping on these devils, yeah Running every track, it feel like I deserve a medal, yeah Hating do it better than I'm knocking so they let me in Feed off the negativity, it never get to me Keep it real till their life sentence me I cannot mix with these energies, so what's a friend of me? So hard to pray for my enemies, yeah, yeah Rappers gotta be kidding me, yeah I can never let them finish me They just pretend to be, yeah Look, I'm on the plane right now On my way to LA right now oh, I'm trying to get paid right now What you trying to get saved right now What you all in the way right now Trying to mess up my day right now It's too much on my plate right now I cannot give it play right now Look, came from the back I was pacing it Nothing was handed out This was all blood, sweat, and bandages Painting pictures on these canvases Since I mean instrumentals You ain't gotta feel me Give it up cause I'm still in They try to kill me Mama pray to God we make it out of Philly On the block with them boys be getting silly and I would have been there right with them but God got me. I ain't worried about nobody cause God got me stress free I'm stress free cause God got me I can overcome anything cause God got me God got me yeah Cause God got me, yeah Whether G-O-D is a he or she Whether queen of queens or the king of kings I can feel the spirit, it's inside of me When I'm lost in consciousness, it's got of me It don't matter if you call him Allah, God or Jehovah You cannot define or define whether Islam and Catholic or Judaism No matter his weapons and master vision Amen. The goddess with skin, gender, and religion Telling lies to your vision on television We can heal the masses, don't need prescription With the cars and carpets, I am the physician Don't care if you read the Quran, Christian Old Testament And Book of Psalms, look, we're all the same This is one human race, I got love for your pops I got love for your mom See and receive the message Look through the universe, we're connected Amen. Look, I be meditating, I ain't captivating Every record to leave you breathless Amen. Usher Raymond is my confession Devil's test got an F lock and all my blessings G.O.D. always got me interjected Through the halls of hell to the gates of heaven Yeah. I ain't worried about nobody Cause God got me, God got me. Stress free, I'm stress free Cause God got, me. God got me I can overcome anything Cause God got me God got me, God got me. Yeah. Cause God got me Yeah R&B Showcase Live, we got more great music coming up for you right now.
This is Tim Marshall for R&B Showcase Live. I want to thank you for joining us here today. Join us next time for more great guests, more good music, more news, more information. We'll be taking you out on the music scene live, plus live in the studio. Check us out next time for R&B Showcase Live. You can also catch us on demand at RhythmBluesShowcase.com.